these two jars can help you discover who you really are. You aren't who you think you are. And you're certainly not who other people think you are. So how can two jars help you discover the true you? One of these jars has coconut flour in it. The other has xylitol in it. Now if you look at them, they look pretty much the same. Until you look at them closely. This one is a very fine powder. See how it moves when I shake it. It also moves silently. This one is xylitol, which is a crystal made from birch. It actually has a crystalline structure and the way the light hits it, you can see those are fine little crystals and the light's bouncing off them in a way it absolutely does not bounce off of a flower. Now, why am I talking about this? Because one day I decided not to trust my gut feeling. I was making some coconut biscuits. I make them only out of coconut flour. I never, never, ever put any kind of sweetener in them. Only thing is, I had switched the jar lids and I had the labels written on the jar lids. So I had my xylitol labeled as coconut flour and vice versa. And I looked at it and can you hear the difference? That's the sound of crystals. No sound coming from the flour. I looked at this as I was making my biscuits and I said, it doesn't look right. It doesn't sound right. It shouldn't be making the noise. How come it feels gritty? I looked at it, but the one test I didn't do was taste it. Then there would have been no question. So I went ahead thinking I was making my coconut biscuits, opened the oven, and there was, it looked like a giant flat pizza. And I immediately realized what was wrong. And boy, when I tasted it, oh my gosh, it wasn't edible. <laughs> if you eat something made completely out of xylitol, you're going to be spending the next 24 hours in the bathroom. So here's my question to you. When a little voice in your head tells you to do something, only tells you once, doesn't repeat it, do you listen to that voice or you do it, ignore it? Because that little voice, that's your intuition. And what is your intuition? It's your higher self. The self who knows everything about you, past, present, and future, because it's the true you. So your first step in discovering the true you. Listen to the little voice that is your intuition, but not the other little voice in your head. So, how do you, so how do you know the difference? You go down below, you follow that link, and you get a hold of the paper I wrote for you about the two little voices. You'll know which one to listen to and which one probably never ever want to listen to. I'm Allie Beerman. You'll find me over at yourrelationshipintelligence.com. This episode was brought to you by audible.com, a really great place to find out who you are. And if you don't like the way your world looks right now, how to change who you are right down to your personality with this book. And you can get the audiobook for free as part of a free trial when you follow this link below. 
that's 30 days download this book for free and even if you cancel after or before the 30 days you get to keep the book the book that could dramatically change everything about you and your life